Right guys, today we're going to be looking at how to find the missing coordinates when we've only got the grid and no numbers. Because actually we can't just say, right, I'm going to fill in this grid. It doesn't work like that. So we need to use the information we have. Now, on this grid, I have the shape of a square. And what I know about a square is that all the sides are the same length, which is a good bit of information to have. But what I also know is that if on a square, I can see here I've got the coordinates 1 for my x-axis. Well, actually, this whole side is on my x-axis at the same level as this coordinate. So I know that my x-axis here is going to be 1. And the same applies for this side with my x-axis. I can see that the whole of this side goes down to where 5 would be. So I then know that this um, coordinate is going to be 5, 2. Now, when finding the y-axis, that's a little bit trickier. Um, you can either do it by finding the difference. So, I can see that on my y-axis up here and my y-axis up here, and they are the same distance from it away. I have 2 and I have 6, so I'm plusing 4 to get to that point. Or, I can look and go to get to that point, sorry, plusing 4 to get to this point. So that would be 6. But also, again, I can see that these two are on the same level on the y-axis. And again, down here, they're on the same level on the y-axis. So I would have the coordinates 5, 2. So my x-axis would be the same and my y-axis. And I would have 1, 6. So my x-axis would be the same and my y-axis. Sometimes, though, we get ones like this. Now, what this dotted line means is that this shape is symmetrical. So this side is exactly the same as this side, which is good because when trying to find the coordinates here, I have information I can work with. If this side is exactly the same as this side, I can work out the difference between this point and this point. And I can see that the difference between my x-axis between this point and this point is plus 2. So I have that bit of information to work with. So what I would do here is say, right, I've got 12 here, and I know the distance between this point and this point is going to be exactly the same as this. Now, it isn't going to be plus 2 because I'm not going this way. I'm working this way, and so it's actually going to be minus 2. So my coordinate for my x-axis would be 10 because it's 12 minus 2. Then what's going to happen is I need to find my y-axis. Again, it's symmetrical and they're on the same level. So I can draw my line across. They would be at exactly the same point. So I can see this is 9. So this would be 9. So my missing coordinate would be 10, 9. It's just looking at your diagram and thinking logically and thinking, what do I know about this shape? 